it's Rachel from All About The House Printables. If you haven't met me before, I have a printable shop on Etsy where I sell printable planners and organization tools um, such as planner stickers, recipe binders, calendars, um, heaps of different types of printables. I also have a digital paper shop called Paper Cravings where I sell digital paper patterns. Um, so enough about me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a business card and we're going to do it for free using Canva. So if you go to www.canva.com, create a login and then you'll be able to start designing. So Canva is really good because it comes with pre-sized templates. So it's already got a business card template. So if you just left click. And it also has lots of other templates like for blog images, um, collages, if you want to make um, yeah, preview images for your blog. Uh, it's got social media images size, so already pre-sized for a Facebook cover. I made one the other day in Canva. So I do prefer to use Photoshop, um, which is obviously paid, but Canva is a good free alternative. It's quite similar to Photoshop. It's not as powerful, and some of its tools can be a little annoying to use, so the Align tool isn't um, as easy to use in Canva. Photoshop has a way better Align tool, um, and some of the features of Photoshop, for example, you can quickly make an ombre pattern in Photoshop, but Canva doesn't have that capability. So it really depends what you want to use it for. Canva's really good if you just want to make something quickly or you don't have access to Photoshop. So we've got our business card template that we chose. One of the things that I really like about Canva is if I'm feeling really stuck um, when I'm making a design, it's got all these free templates that you can just quickly customize. You can change the color to suit your brand better. Um, just switch out the logo that they may have and put in your own, change the font style. You can really quickly change it. So you could make this in five minutes if you wanted to. There's so many different types um, of layouts that you can use. They're all really pretty. Remember, say you didn't like blue, you can easily just make that pink. I really like this one because I just love polka dots. So it's got the front and the back design. So we obviously want to add the front add a new page and we want the back. Cool, so now we've got the front and the back. So obviously my name is not, uh, my brand name or company name is not called Gypsy Swimwear. So if you just left click you can change that. So if I wanted to make this um, all about the house. Um, so printables, if I press control A I can then change this and want to make it size, um, size 8. I probably wouldn't go any smaller than 8 because that's getting a little small. If you don't want some design elements, for example, I don't need swimwear. So if I just left click and drag when you see these four arrows, I can move that out of the way. Click on swimwear and then click on the trash can icon. So now I've got all about the house in the center. Um, so my branding is not dark blue. It is a rainbow stripe and it's not polka dots. Polka dots are really nice and I could use that. So if you're just wanting to make some business cards to include in your packages if you sell on Etsy or you've got an online shop, then this is a really good tool to use. And it's good if you want to just springboard and get some ideas on how to make it. But make sure you create something that's on brand or if you are just starting out and you don't know what your brand is yet, you can use this to help you create something if you just need something made quickly. So you can upload a pattern if you've already got one. I've uploaded a few things in Canva. I've created some, I upload my um, sticker images for Instagram and then add my shop name and my URL. I've added another couple of patterns in some other designs that I've made. I also made an image for when people subscribe to my blog, they'll see this image when they opt in. Created a few different um, things in Canva. So when I've got my pattern, you just left click and it'll appear. You can left click and drag to move it on your template and then press um, one of the corners and drag it out so it covers it. Remember that a business card is a small size so you don't want to make your pattern too small or it will look a bit busy. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Whoops. Whoop. If I press the minus sign you can zoom out a bit. Cool, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I don't need these dots anymore, but I do like the layout um, with those dots. So I'm going to use a similar style to that. I'm just going to make it so I've got the same amount of red 
appearing in each of my corners. So I've got a little bit of red here and a little bit up the top. So that dot um, thing inspired me to go to shapes and I'm going to have the pattern on either side of where I've got my shop name. So if I click on this square and I'm going to make it, I'll leave it at white and if I make it here so I've got it in the center, I've got my stripes on either side and then I can have my text. So if I click back, my text will appear. My text is currently in white so I can't see it. I'm going to make it black. Um, you can press the plus sign here, enter in the six digit hex code which could be all numbers or all letters. The color code for black is six zeros, the color code for white is six F's. You can play around with the color wheel if you want to change the color or if you know the six digit hex code you can just type it straight in. I want to use black because that is my um, color so I always use rainbow stripe with black text. I'm not going to use quicksand, I'm going to use a different font. Um, they've got heaps of free ones in here that you can use. I'm going to go with, I like to use Lato or Lato. And you can click this drop down menu here so it's aligned to the center. It's in bold, it's currently in uppercase. Um, I can t untick that and it should, nope, it's pre formatted. Okay, so if I don't want uppercase text, come over to the text and add some new text. So if I wanted all about the house, and I want to go printables, change this one to Lato or Lato, however you pronounce it. And I want to make it black. Cool, so now that I've got that, I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit and get rid of this other one. Alrighty, so I've got my shop name in there, and now I want to add my URL. I could add um, a photo of me or some, um, I could list the sort of products that I sell. You could put anything that you want on business card. At a minimum, I recommend your shop name, your shop URL, and what you sell. So business card is quite a small size. It's probably too small to be adding um, images of your products. If you're going to do that, I recommend using, um, if you do sort of like a pamphlet thing uh, with like coupon codes or like a little information bro brochure about where they can follow you. I do have another video, which if it's not already uploaded at the time of you watching this video, I will be uploading it soon, um, where I show you how to make a like a coupon or a gift certificate and that one's a 6 by 4 inch template so if you want to show some images of your products I recommend you do it there not on a business card because remember that business cards are quite small okay so I've got all about the house printables then you want to add your shop URL so if you find where your shop URL is just left click up the top here and press Control C come back to your business card template I'm going to click on my text and create a copy because I want to use the same font style, then press Control A and Control V. So at the moment I've got my shop URL, but it's got a whole lot of this other junk at the back of it, which we don't want to see. So if we just delete that out, so it's just got all about the house, and let's reduce that down a little bit to size 8. Cool, so now when I click on my link, so if I press Control A, then Control C to copy, come back up here, then press Control V, it will come back to my shop as well. It's just going to get rid of the other junk that was at the end of that URL. So don't be paranoid that you're going to lose the link and people won't actually be able to find your shop. As long as you keep your shop name here, then they'll still be able to find it. Obviously, I recommend doing a test um, before you start printing business cards. Just make sure you test your URL. Okay, so at the moment this design was working alright for a while, but now that I've added my shop URL, because I do want my URL on the front, you might want to include it on the back, which is this section here, um, but I want it on the front, so I'm going to flip this around, so I've got this across the middle as a banner sort, and have the um, rainbows up the top and the bottom and this is the style that I do tend to use so I've got my Instagram if I post on Instagram I've got my template set up similar to look like this so make sure you're consistent when you see these dashed lines here that are purple it's telling you that it's aligned to the center of the template which is really good that's what we want 
So it's looking a little plain at the moment. I'm going to add a black strip. So if I create a copy of my rectangle, I'm going to move it so it's a bit above it, expand it out, change it to black, and then I'm going to go back, send it to the back, behind my white banner. So I've got a little bit of a black border here. And I want the same amount of rainbow stripe to appear at the top and the bottom. Same with the white. So I could probably make my shop name a bit bigger. Whoops. Hit something wrong there. Big. So make it 14. That looks pretty good. Uh, my black's still a little wide up the top. Cool, that looks about even. So now on the back, I'm going to go with just a white background and black text. So here you can include any text that you want. I'm going to change it so it's I've got my Lato or Lato font. Actually, I'm just going to create a copy of that. And move it down to the second page. And I'm going to add sort of my slogan, which is slogan logo printables to organize your home business and life exclamation point and let's get rid of this other stuff that's here this suggested info um, because I don't have a physical shop I obviously don't need to include my address I don't have a business phone number because I'm online only everything's done by email they do have a shop um, dot com here but I've already got that on the front so I'm going to delete that out so I've got my little logo happening, not logo, my slogan. And then I'm going to put um, some things that I sell. So if I create a copy, and I'm going to drag that one down a little bit, and I'm going to go with um, dash printable. Oh, I've already got printable, so I won't do that. I'll just go planners, planner stickers, and recipe binders. I also have binder covers. So I'm going to add just some products that I sell. I could do dashes for each of them, but I'm going to change that. So I've got all my text highlighted by pressing Control A. I don't want it to be aligned to the center anymore. I'm going to make it aligned to the left. And then I'm going to left click and drag up and reduce it a little bit. So now I've got uh, one list here, so if I, I can add asterisk instead of a dash. Asterisk is just shift and eight on your keyboard. And I'm going to make a copy of this one. Left click and drag. I've got all my purple lines appearing, so that means it's aligned, so that's good. I also sell direct sales planners and I've also got meal planning printables I have some hmm what are some of the main products blog planner and I'm gonna go with household binder or binders homekeeping binder whatever you want to call it so just pick some of your main products. You don't have to include this on your business card, but that's just what I am prefer to do so people know why, like what my business is. It's all good and well to hand someone a business card that says whatever your business name is, but people may be like, okay, what the heck is this? What do you sell? They may not sort of, it's just a business card to them. It doesn't make them want to actually go look at your shop because they don't know what you sell or they can't remember what you sell. So that's why I recommend including a couple of the products that you sell on your business card. Again, it's entirely up to you. If you wanted to, you could add a coupon code. So you could be like 10% off if you're a new customer. Or you could do um, your social media links. So you could do find me on Instagram. Here's my blog URL, my online shop, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, etc. Um, so when you're happy with your design, just make sure you go file save. I've kept the back of it really simple because I want the front to be like the main feature and remember that the more color you include on a design the more expensive it's going to be to print so when you do um, a double sided business card they're not going to charge you as just one sided they will charge you for two sided printing 
wherever you get these printed, for example, Vistaprint. So make sure you consider that if your cost is going to be um, a big issue for you and you don't want to spend too much, make sure you keep your back pretty simple and make the front like your main feature. Then you can go download. I recommend saving it as a JPEG because then you can just upload it to a print and ship website like Vistaprint or if you Google, I'm sure it will come up with a whole bunch of other places where you can get business cards printed. That's why I recommend a JPEG. If you choose PDF, sometimes some printer companies prefer PDF to JPEG. I would just check with the website's requirements, but you can download both JPEG and PDF um, depending on where you want to get them printed. And again, just say, make sure you save it if you want to come back later, if you want to update it, if you want to change this and add your social media links, etc., to the back of your business card, or you decide that you want to completely rebrand, um, but you want to keep the same layout, you just want to change out your pattern or your colors, etc. So that is how you make a business card for free using Canva. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful.